Palmer Group CEO Shelly Palmer joins us live now. Shelly, great to see you. Nice to see you too. How are you? I'm doing well. Facebook, how's it doing? The timing you know, of this announcement of this name change, this sort of facelift to Meta, kind of curious. Just as Facebook was curiously embroiled in this crisis, what do you think of the company's art of distraction? Did it work? Okay. First of all, Mark Zuckerberg is still the chairman, still the CEO. The company still does $86 billion a year. Three out of four people living on the earth on the internet are still Facebook uh, or WhatsApp or Instagram users. And there's been not one senior leadership change in any kind of restructuring at the organization. So Meta and Facebook, same, same. You like the name, you don't like the name. It, it's prestidigitation at its very best or at its very worst, you decide. But it is a meaningless conversation they're going to get to the metaverse when they get to it, as is everyone else, and they'll be pivoting a hundred times. We don't know what augmented reality is going to actually look like when it manifests. We already know virtual reality is a really, really hard hill to climb. Th this is sort of like much ado about nothing, as opposed to what's going on with the Facebook papers, which is much ado about something. Yeah, but come on, Mark Zuckerberg is telling us the metaverse is the digital future. You know, despite the hurdles that this could it, go through, do you see Facebook succeeding? And and are you cur concerned about the length maybe the company will actually go to to make it a success after hearing what the whistleblower and the Facebook papers had to say? No, I'm not worried about any of that, actually. I think if any company in the world has the opportunity or the ability to make a quote in an in big quotes metaverse a success, Facebook is right there. They have unlimited resources and amazing engineering. This is uncharted territory. We've seen some games. We've seen some vocational tools. We've seen some training tools in VR. We know that Apple's got a bunch of patents for eyewear. Um, look, it's all possible. With respect to whether they are ruthless or not ruthless, I think Facebook is probably guilty of most of the things they're being accused of. What everybody needs to realize, and I'm not defending Facebook in any way, and they've been good sponsors of some of our stuff in the past. They're not current clients, but they've been very good sponsors of stuff in the past. Look, it's a giant. It's 3.7 billion people that are interacting with custom news feeds where they are seeing something built just for them based on their engagement over time. There's never been anything like this ever built on Earth. They're likely to make mistakes. And remember, they're privately held and they do everything to be accretive to their stakeholders and shareholders. So they are built to make money. They're not built to serve the public. You may hope that they would. And I think we're learning that social media is really bad for like humanity, it's just bad. It builds echo chambers, it causes all kinds of bad things to happen. And as we find that out, we'd like to blame just Facebook, but no social media company does any better on balance because they all try to feed you what you want to see when you wanna see it. There's no human involved. These are automated processes, they're algorithmic processes that basically you feed back to it. Say, I like this, I like this, and it feeds you more of it. So all social media, not just Facebook, it's a reflection of who we are. And if we don't like what we see, or if we think it's not kind enough or not good enough, try posting some nicer stuff. You'll get nicer stuff in return. Yeah, there's a little hypocrisy going on here between the consumer's outrage with Facebook and then their yeah. amount of use of social media, right? It hasn't changed. Like people are, their earnings are down because mostly because of Apple's ATT, Apple's uh, transparency policy, Apple's privacy policy with respect to apps and the way that it has impaired Facebook from doing a part of its advertising business. That that's directly related to their earnings call. Uh, it's probably just to switch gears for a second. Apple's ATT policy, privacy policy, is probably a fifty billion dollar tax on app developers. It's about ten times more expensive to launch an app right now than it was before Apple got all privacy on you. And Facebook felt it in this earnings call. Mm. But everybody's still using Facebook. And by the way, advertisers are too. Like there is no replacement. Let's be very honest. There isn't a replacement from an advertiser's perspective for Facebook. It's the right person, right place, right time, right message delivered at the right price. Wow, there is nothing else like that. So while advertisers are complaining and consumers are complaining, mm. everybody's using it and that's what's happening. So we have to be a little careful about, you know, who's protesting where. And yeah, Facebook has to answer for some stuff for sure. Um, let's hold their feet to the fire and see what we get. Hmm. One last question for you. Facebook changing its stock ticker symbol from FB to MVRS Metaverse. That's happening December 1st. So what's going to happen here to the acronym FANG? Does it just go away? Isn't that awful? 
Like, I don't know what it's going to be now. <laughs> uh, there's a couple of funny memes out on the internet. But, it, but by the way, you got Google is alphabet. So the G has been gone for a while. So is it egg, eggment? I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be Amazon, Apple, Google, or alphabet, Meta, Microsoft, Netflix, and Tesla. Make one up. We, we should have like a word. We should up. have a letter game that turns into words. I think I'm going to work on that on over the weekend, Shelley. Absolutely. <laughs> Shelley Palmer, thanks so much uh, for your perspective today. My pleasure. We'll see you soon.